What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. The first vlog of 2020. Well, I uploaded a video. This is the first vlog that I'm filming in 2023 and I'm going to take you through my work day. <laughs> Sounds exciting, right? And we have a little special guest, Fifi. Hello, Fifi. We have dude back here. Uh, this is not safe. Is this all Mona drives me? Why did you jump up? This is not safe. Let's go to the office. This is not safe. You know, with dude, I can just let him out and I just know he's gonna stay right next to me. Hello! With Felix, I have to put the leash on because I'm, he literally might run away and never come back, so. Okay, so I took the dogs out this morning when I woke up, including Felix, and they just peed because normally I take them for a walk, but it's raining outside. And I just went to get this lens right here, this wide angle lens. And from the time that me going to my car and coming back, Felix has shit on the carpet. Felix! You couldn't wait until I got back two minutes? What is, what? Huh. All right, so it is currently 8.30 in the morning. Uh, the rest of the team will not get here for another hour and a half. I need to book a bunch of flights. I leave for Los Angeles in like two days, and then I'm going to Las Vegas, and I have to get a bunch of one-ways because I need to fly into Los Angeles and then potentially rent a car, figure out where I'm going to sleep, and then on Thursday, I have to go to Las Vegas, so I got to get a one-way there, and then I need to get a, a flight from Las Vegas back home. I need to get a hotel in Las Vegas. Ah! Okay, so I think I figured it all out and we won't get stranded. We get into Los Angeles on Wednesday at noon. We have a podcast that evening, so we'll go work out, train, hang out, probably meet up with my brother, stay in Los Angeles Wednesday night. Thursday, we have a podcast at 2 p.m. and at 5.30, so we can't fly to Las Vegas until 8.30 at night, getting us in in Las Vegas at 10 p.m. We're just gonna crash or we're gonna go to Omnia and order bottle service, I don't know. And then uh, we get up on Friday morning and have a podcast at 9 a.m., film that, maybe go meet up at the Ghost Warehouse, go work out at a Las Vegas gym, film some content, get on a plane, get home at 8 p.m. That's crazy. Wow, my life's so crazy. Jet setter, podcast interviewer. Sick angle guy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get another like hour or so of work done before the team gets here. Then we have a very important meeting because it's Monday. You always have Monday meetings. We haven't always had Monday meetings, but we're gonna have one Monday meetings in 2023 because our goals are to do better. So uh, yeah, let's pray that Felix doesn't shit on the carpet again and I'll see you in a little bit. So overall, very good meeting with the team. Glad everyone's back from the holiday. Uh, went longer than planned, but that's how they mostly go. You know, there's a lot of like Gary Vee stuff that's always like, never make a like a five minute meeting into like 35 minutes. Sometimes it just happens. You know, I, I didn't plan on it being an hour long, but why am I telling you this? I'm, this is what's inside my brain. Uh, one change that I did do moving into the new year is I increased our work hours which might be a, a shock to hear. But before, if you didn't know, uh, everyone, at least at Alpha Land, everyone's hours was essentially 10 to four. Probably no one knew that. Uh, so very relaxed hours. And the idea was that outside of those hours, you would you could just decide if you wanna be in the office to make up, you know, to hit 40 hours a week, right? Um, you could work whatever. But this year I'm changing it and making it nine to 4.30 then the idea is that it's not to make people work more, because again, that's still not, people don't know this, a 40 hour work week is eight to five, normally, eight to five with an hour lunch. Nine to 4.30, I'm asking, um, and the idea is that if there's, 
I, I want more of the work to be done in the walls of our office in the team setting, not right. to make people work more. It's just hopefully that let's just get all the work done during office hours and then outside of that, if there's, you know, because we're, we're not at the 40 hours is that, you know, if there's an email you need to answer, if there's a, something you need to do, you can do it outside of your work hours because the work hours are shorter. Does that make sense? Am I, does that make sense? I increased our work hours, but overall they're still very relaxed and I'm not, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, dude. Let's go check out Sour Strips. Right, so your boy maxi pad has been coming over to the warehouse more frequently than I normally do I'm, I'm already pretty hands-on like I never want to I never want to own a business that I'm just I just like collect checks on no I want to learn the intricacies of the business I want to know how the operations are flowing and that is why I'm always here but now as we continue to grow and to continue to scale organization and structure is importante. And what I'm doing is I'm having individual team meetings with every single person that works here. Whether you're a entry level warehouse associate and you just pack the online orders or you are in a management position. I'm like, what do you do exactly? I wanna learn the intricacies of everything. I want to figure out if there's room for improvement and how we overall create more structure, figure out who needs to go where, who can manage who, who people report to, and we never had that. Because again, this was just an idea. I wanna sell some candy. Okay, I need some help. Oh wow, now we're a real freaking company, right? I've, I've never hired anyone with expertise. It's just like, let's figure this out as we go. And we're doing the damn thing, and I'm super excited, and it's good to just connect with all of the people that work on our team, and I wanna do this more often, and have regular sit downs with every single person here. So I think it's been really beneficial and we are gonna to continue to scale this company to the next level, dude. And it's all about having the correct systems in place. Similarly, similarly, similar to how we have the correct system in place for our online orders because we use ShipStation. Wait, you guys don't know about ShipStation? Oh my God, well luckily they're the sponsor of today's video, so let me tell you about them. ShipStation is an amazing company that I personally have been using on all of my online businesses since day one. We use it every single day at the Sour Strips warehouse, and it's amazing because all of your orders that people purchase online will funnel into one easy, simple to use interface that you can use to help you save time on your shipping and logistics. You should be worried about marketing and growing your business, not how to figure out to print shipping labels. ShipStation makes it so simple. And whether you have your own website like I do with Sour strips never forward or you're using Etsy, eBay, or Amazon, ShipStation has you covered. With ShipStation, you're not just going to save time, you're going to save money. You can compare rates from all the different carriers and figure out how to best optimize your shipping costs. That's amazing. You can save up to 86% on UPS and USPS shipping rates. And if that's not enough, you can even use my discount code to get two months free of ShipStation. Guys, listen, over 130,000 businesses are using ShipStation for their logistical needs. And over 98% of the people that use it for one year end up staying with ShipStation for life. That is how good they are. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, which I highly recommend you should, again, we use it every single day. What is there to think about? Why don't you make the new year your best year and grow your business with ShipStation? Just head over to ShipStation.com slash MaxTuning today and sign up for a free 60-day trial. Again, that is ShipStation.com slash MaxTuning to get a 60-day free trial. Now, let's get back to the vlog. All right, it is currently... What time? I don't even know what time it is, dude. One twenty-five. I haven't had any water. I had my greens earlier today and I've had an energy drink. I haven't had any water. It's almost two o'clock. I need some food. I need some water. I need to make sure our pets' heads don't fall off. All right, so getting some lunch, but the grind does not stop. Fun fact, if you take your little, I'm assuming all of you guys are using Ghost, right? Obviously, Code Max. If you take a little peel off thing that you get, normally you throw it in the trash, don't do that. Save it, keep it in here, and then you fold it up, and oh my God, Matt, it's a funnel. 
I invented this. No one on planet Earth has ever done this. People using pieces of paper and stuff. No, just save the freaking thing, man. We got some hydration. We're gonna be hydrated AF. We have a, a burger with pepper jack cheese. We have some sweet potato fries. And while we eat all that, we're filming stuff. Nick, what are we doing, dude? We are releasing mystery boxes on Sunday. Or actually, wait, when this video goes live? Or I don't know. Next video. Um, that's what we're shooting today. Didn't tell you exactly what they are, but I'll tell you. These are mystery boxes. What's inside of it is a mystery. They're not actually gonna be boxes when you get it. It's gonna be bags. So forever forward, we have a lot of items that are no longer for sale. Tech jackets, bombers, button downs, right? And they were returns or sent back to us for whatever reason. They're still folded up, still perfect in the bag. We need a way to get rid of them. So the idea is that you'll buy this box. It's gonna come in a bag and you'll get five items and it's only gonna be 70 bucks, but you're gonna get like $150 worth of items, but you won't know what they are, but you'll choose your size, but you won't know what items you're gonna get. It's a mystery, okay? And it's just a way to offload these random ass items without making you know, a bunch of sections in the website with like one medium bomber jacket. So, mystery, whoa! Go ahead then. Okay, current time, 3.15 or 3.12, I guess we want to be exact. Uh, I have a call in three minutes with a distributor out in California who wants to discuss expanding into a new retail chain out there. First of all, California is just crushing it with sour strips. We sell so many sour strips into California, but the reason I'm taking this call is because every single time that you go into a store and Sour Strips is being sold, just know that I, I personally approved it going into that store. All distribution and all wholesale goes through me. We don't have a sales team. We don't have a, a retail team. We don't have a wholesale team that's managing accounts. It's me. And then when I confirm and I give the green light, I pass it to Mona. Mona then sets up and you know creates the order for the people. And then from there, we pass it to Nick at the warehouse and they fill it and the, the cycle repeats. Why, why do I do all of that myself? Like why don't I just have someone else just, hey, this is what qualifies someone to carry sour strips? I don't know, because I like to do it. Just let me live my life, okay? Okay? How are you? I'm doing great, just uh, trying to make it out here. Yep. How are you? <laughs> doing well, doing well. Thanks, Max. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You as well. Thank you. Talk soon. Pretty solid meeting. Expansion. Sour strips to the moon. Dude, are you excited? <laughs> okay, current time, almost four o'clock. Taylor usually arrives around here and then we go work out at like 4.30, so I'm gonna go sit on the computer. You know, I, I get this, I feel like talking about my work and every little thing I'm doing and showing you the time sounded like a good idea in my head, but I'm like, is this, is this lame? This is my life every day. Now go back and watch every single YouTube video that I do and know that in between filming those videos where I'm flying the drone and doing all the crazy things, I'm doing all of this in between that. This is my life. I get to wake up at 5 a.m. every day and make some soup. It's the best. I love it. Hello. Hello. Hey, and 20 pound bench press. Now it didn't move only five pounds heavier than my 315 last week, 
But you know, it is what it is. After such a long day grinding, being an entrepreneur, like if I can do 320, let's fucking go. How was your workout? Good. Taylor and I work out together every day, generally. Okay. And by work out together, we work out separately, but we go to the gym together, we leave time. together. Because we're a unit. We're the best unit. But I can honestly destroy her in the bench press. She can't even, she can't even get close to 320. It's I kind of pathetic. I can't even do the bar. Currently, six o'clock right now. That is gonna complete my day at the office. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, bye. Hey, man. Hello. What are you doing in my seat, Felix? You can't drive, you don't even have your license. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here. You know, I, I'm gonna go home and spend some time with Taylor. That's what I've really been trying to do um, in the evenings is separate work uh, as much as I can. Obviously, I still need to edit up this video. I need to edit the intro of the Joe podcast all before Wednesday. We got a busy week, but life of an entrepreneur baby i hope you enjoyed this gave you a little insight on truly what i do outside of youtube yeah and also i want to thank everyone for the extremely kind feedback that you gave me in my last super long sit down chat it means a lot to me that so many people have been sticking with me and rocking for the past couple years decade and i'm excited what the future holds and we're going to keep on keeping on. So without further ado, please hit the thumbs up button. That is the best thing you could possibly do for the channel to help boost it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips. And ever forward. Dude's doing that thing again. What are you sitting backwards for, dude? Dude. Dude. What are you doing? Woof. All right, hold on a second. The, the video is going to continue because look, look, let me just show you something. Let me, let me show you something. Do you see what I see or the lack thereof? Taylor put away the whole Christmas tree. I put away everything. That's a 14 foot Christmas tree that was decorated with like a hundred plus decorations. It, I, was what? Like, I put it up by myself too. She did put it up by herself. I, that's because I didn't even know she was doing it. I didn't know. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs>